Hello and welcome to Regina Tarot. This is Regina and I've got another little wire weave tutorial that I'm going to do. Uh, this one is with three base wires and it's just another weave that I have used to make rings, specifically this one. So as you can see here, it's just very slightly different than the weave that I favor the most. Um, this particular ring you can tell by the the weave itself that this is me this was my starter piece where I like had just started weaving and I was like well I don't know what to do with the the practice weave but I'll hold on to it and then I turned it into a ring so I did want to show you how to how to do this one because it is a useful one and it's a very simple one to do um, so what you need are three base wires um, the one that the materials that I have today, we've got 20 gauge aluminum purple, and then I've got here for the base wires 12 gauge um, aluminum silver. So then that's for contrast. So this really is just like I don't know. I'll probably use it in a project. I just don't know what it will be yet. Um, but these particular materials, I got them because I think the visibility is better. Um, I normally work in copper, but um, smaller gauges. So uh, let's just get started. So I've just kind of like a random length here. Um, I didn't really measure um, in inches or anything because, again, this is just a tutorial for the weave itself. Um, and that's that. So you always want to leave yourself a bit of a tail. How I'm going to start is I'm going to go between the top two base wires here and we're just going to slide that or poke that right in there and when I say leave a tail that's just this end piece like sticking out um, and all you're going to do is sort of wrap around the front let me see I want these a little bit closer um, what I've done here is I've just kind of secured it with tape just so that as I'm securing the first few wraps around the wires, it holds kind of still. But you can kind of adjust it wherever you're starting your weave if you want it a little bit closer. Um, however it works. Whatever works for you is what you use. Other people you can use a, a spring clamp. Um, there's all kinds of options. but. So we're going to just wrap around these bottom two three times, right? Oops, can you see that? My hand's in the way. All right, so there's that. I'm going to hold my tail up here. And just go ahead and do the... So I'm up the back, down the front two, up the back two, and down the front two. Right, so now we have basically three little wraps there. To mush them closer together, you can use your nails. Or if you wanted to, you can use, um, when you have more wraps in this and you want to squeeze them together, you can just use your pliers, just slide them down the wire. All right, so then the next part of the weave, we just want to wrap around the top two and do it th three times, roughly. Or at least so it looks like, full, like three full wraps in the front. So... Um, what we do is we take this where it's at the bottom and you go all the way up the back and see how these are crossing here just kind of adjust that move that one a little bit closer and you'll probably be doing that throughout the weave um, it's okay to bend if you need to bend so that they don't continue to cross whatever you're most comfortable doing really you know all right so we want to get those just a little closer. And we want the wraps to be kind of nice and even here. You can again, you can always adjust with pliers. Um, I'll show you that when we've got a little more to work with. Okay, so we're coming down across the front two wires, and then we're going to go up the back and down the front between the bottom two base wires again. Right, and then push it together so that it's kind of close. And then we want one more wrap on the top. And 
down the front two between the or the top two between the bottom two in the front and then you've got your first set of wraps right here let me see if I can move that I should probably zoom a little closer so it doesn't look like much just yet um, but this is just a nice simple wrap and like one of the things that I like about this particular weave is like as a starter weave if your wraps are not perfectly compact and nice it kind of still looks in a project once you add the piece to a project it still kind of looks cool so it just depends on the aesthetic that you're looking for all right so um, then what we're gonna do here is see how we've landed in the middle we just want to go up one right and then in behind and then we're gonna go between the top two base wires right and see how that stretched a little bit that's okay because it's gonna compress when you're moving your wire you just want to kind of guide it and then lay it down the across the top of the bottom two in the front and then up the back two and then we're going to move the wire between the top two base wires down and across the bottom two base wires again and then we're going to just do the same thing one more time and now you can see like kind of a pattern emerging here my wraps a little bit loose alright and then I'm just gonna do that a few more times so again once we've hit this point we want to get it so it looks like that so you're going across all up and across all three in the back then down across the top two base wires and in between the bottom two then up and across the back down the fronts in between the bottom two and again right so we've got three and then of course you don't have to do three wraps you can do two you can do five it just it all again it all depends on the length of the piece and what you want to do with it okay so then the next wrap again from here you're taking your wire and kind of sliding it through the top two base wires guide the wire with your finger you don't want to pull it like thread so then down across lay it across the top the bottom two pull it up and then between the top two and then down across the top of the bottom two up the back two and in between the top two lay the wire across the bottom two and then up all the way all three for that first wrap on your top side and then down across just these two wires so you're gonna move this to the bottom two and then we're back to regular I'm gonna call it a regular wrap I'm sure there's technical terms that I'm not getting right but we're just gonna keep going so um, then just the top two in between those bottom two and top two again in between the bottom two okay and there's kind of our pattern I'm just gonna do a couple more times so you can see it um, if you're just starting out do not worry about your pacing um, on the video if you lose track of what I'm doing you can always you know I mean it's a video so you can pause it and go back and all, all kinds of stuff um, so you can just get a better idea of how it looks in a lengthier piece 
and how I was able to arrive at that ring design with it. Yeah, Mowen. So, let's see here. Now they're getting a little close, so I want to pull them apart. You're just going to want to check that as you work your weave. Now this wire, I've cut the length of wire off because it's, I mean, it's just a little bit easier in terms of doing a tutorial. But there are a lot of people, oops, see, yeah, I screwed up. I lost count because I was talking too much. So, um, but anyway, but a lot of people work off the spool. Um, you can wait until you're comfortable if you're just starting out um, if you're not you know what I'm talking about with that like you it gets easier once you've gotten the hang of doing some of these things to work off the spool um, but it's again that's also going to be dependent on the project see I skipped my uh, third weave down here so it might look slightly different than the rest let's just do two then and then maybe I'll do a set of five so you can see like and it's super subtle like it's not like you know anybody looking at this is gonna be like hey you know they missed the uh, number of, of weaves or whatever but there's a subtle difference in it and in a finished piece it can make a, diff a really big difference materials will also make a really big difference um, in terms of the shape of wire the color things like that alright so there's five one of the things that um this I really learned when I was starting was um that I wouldn't recommend doing like with this particular weave if you're gonna do like a what do they call it? A rustic wrap where it's a little bit loose and like not very smushed in together. Um, not, I wouldn't do necessarily a huge number of wraps um, with a rustic weave, but that's just a preference. Do what you want, you know, like it's art. Come on, man. We get to play. Um, because sometimes that like uneven wobbly look if you do too many wraps it's like for me as a design element it feels a little too unwieldy like these are pretty these are pretty good but um yeah anyway so that's what that one looks like and i'm gonna stop babbling now and set that down and i uh, hope that was helpful if you do enjoy this content like share and subscribe the tar the channel itself is a tarot channel um so the crafting stuff is just like wow ah, this is an interest of mine i might as well put some stuff up there that i've learned just in case you know on the off chance it's helpful to folks so um if you do want to see more of this kind of stuff let me know um and that is it i hope you have a beautiful rest of the day